Hi guys, Barnaby for Spurred On. Tottenham have just lost 3-0 to Borussia Dortmund. Uh, incredible stadium, amazing night in lots of ways. Uh, Mauricio Pochettino picked, I, I can only best describe it as a reserve team. We had Ryan Mason and Tom Carroll in the centre midfield and you've got to give it to Dortmund, they absolutely outplayed us. Uh, it was a bit of a lesson tonight. Strange feelings amongst the Spurs fans here. You know, why come this far, end up playing the best team in the tournament and then play a team like that? Um, I think if we'd played our full team, if we'd had Dembele playing, if we'd had Kane playing, uh, Lamella, you know, Ericsson did play, but he, he was amongst players who, who weren't good enough compared to the opposition. I do think if we'd played our first team, we would have gotten away goal. There were a couple of uh, penalty shouts, one on Hung Min Son. To me, it looked like the defender shouldn't be diving in there. You can't dive in. And I don't think he died. That looked like a pen to me. And then one at the end on Josh Onoma. It could have been just outside the box, but it was certainly a foul. It felt to me a little bit like maybe the ref was thinking to himself, Spurs haven't deserved a goal from this, so I'm not going to let them get a chance. I mean, you know, maybe not. I don't know. But most importantly, it just feels strange. I know we got a big game at Villa away on Sunday. It won't be easy. Everyone's saying it would be easy, but I don't think it will. But what tonight has proven is that Maurizio Pochettino is all about the league now. He thinks we're in with a chance of winning it. He is not going to put out strong team in this match. And now that we're 3-0 down after the first leg, I can't see how he'd put a strong team out against them next week in the return leg. So we've got to go to Villa on Sunday and win. Then we've got to beat Bournemouth at home in the next game and win. Because otherwise, I'll tell you what, if he doesn't beat Villa, uh, if we don't beat Villa on Sunday, there'll be uproar after all this. Because a lot of people have spent a lot of money to come all this way. Hotels, accommodation, booze, food, everything. And, you know, we weren't at the races today. You know, quality at the end. The Spurs fans gave Borussia Dortmund a round of applause. We also applauded the Spurs players because it wasn't their fault. You just, there just weren't enough top-level players in that team to, to cause trouble to Borussia Dortmund. We didn't really make one clear-cut chance, I don't think. Maybe a couple of times where uh, Son got away, but tame shots, really. Should also mention, at the beginning uh, of the game, a lot, thousands of Spurs fans and Dortmund fans were locked out at the front of this ground. They shut the gates on us and I'm totally surprised that there wasn't more trouble because there were a lot of very angry fans and I want to give credit to all the Spurs fans who are out the front with me there for not going completely crazy and turning it into a terrible incident. Really kept their calm well. I didn't get into the ground until 25 minutes in. You know, you paid a lot of money for a ticket and you come uh, into Europe for that. That's, that's not acceptable as far as I'm concerned. That shouldn't be the case. I don't really know what happened. I'm sure it was a safety issue or something, but it was really, really annoying. Anyway, back to the game. They tried their hardest, the lads. Uh, some some half-decent performances, but nothing that really stood out. Nasser Chadley and Hungmin Son, when they, when they play up front, because they, they alternate, they don't put in the work that Harry Kane puts in. They don't pressurise the defenders. And that is where the pressing game starts. And today, frankly, we were just outpressed. We were outplayed by Dortmund, and it made me think, is that what it feels like for, for teams not as good as Spurs when they come to the lane, when we get all our players around them and we suffocate them? Because that was horrible to watch out there. As a Spurs fan, as a neutral, you would be purring at Borussia Dortmund. They were outstanding tonight. Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought of the game in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel on YouTube. Follow us on Twitter, at Spurred on TV. Don't get disheartened. Sunday, away at Villa. Let's get the three points back on track. Come on, you Spurs.